Okay. Okay, so we got the Harbor Freight hype knife. And, uh, you know, I guess hype knives would come from anywhere. And it's kind of interesting that that uh, we got a, we got one from Icon. Could have swore Icon was spelled I-K-O-N. I think this is a Mandarian effect. Mandela. Yeah, you, what you said. What you said, girl. But uh, regardless, man, maybe a little bit of a controversial video because it's a copy. But uh, from what we can tell, from what we've been told, Harbor Freight has purchased this patent uh, to design to to produce this knife from someone from a U.S. US. knife designer. We don't know the whole story, you know. We know that this is a Todd Begg Steelcraft. We also know that Begg knives has got nothing to do with Todd Begg. You know, you got Todd Begg knives and you got Begg knives, and Begg knives doesn't have anything to do with Todd Begg. And Begg knives mini glimpse bears a very strong yeah, resemblance. A strong well. resemblance to this On knife right here. Budget price. Man, what I'm gonna do? We've already recorded this video once, and it was 20 minutes. So uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over the package and anything you wanna pause because I went over I went over the pack, package for about five minutes. So it is a it is a G10 with carbon fiber inlays. It's got a D2 steel, ceramic ball ball bearings, uh, contour grip, all that stuff. It's 3.7 inch or 3.07 inch blade uh, and a uh, 4.42 closed. So it is a little bit longer. We'll go into that. Let's get it back out of the package again. Okay, try to save some time. It is a tight fit, but man, it's so much better than a blister pack. Yeah. You know, like, um, yeah, it's, I'm not saying it's better than a blister pack, I guess, but it's, it's a better experience than a blister pack. So, all right. <clears throat> so we can definitely see the similarities, but this knife is longer by about a tenth of an inch and it actually makes a big difference. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So lined up butt to butt. It was a half inch overall, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was about a tenth of an inch on the blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. About a half an inch overall. So let's let's go ahead and show that. So we got uh, here a seven and a half inch knife, and here a seven inch knife. So uh, you got a a three inch blade exactly, and from what I can tell, three and a three. Inch. Yeah, three and an eighth. Yeah, uh, inch blade on this one. The cutting edge, uh, you, you know, it's it's all gonna be very similar. Yeah, very similar. Uh, this one does have a little bit wider of a forward finger choil. Forward finger choil. That's right. Uh, and which works out good for me because this knife ha does have a forward finger choil or sharpened choil, but I can just barely get the tip of my finger in here. You know, where Courtney can use that and mm -hmm. she can choke up really good but if you got larger size hands this isn't exactly what i would call the glimpse i think the glimpse had a three and a half inch blade yeah. but it's somewhere in between the size of a mini glimpse and a and a full size glimpse uh, of course you don't have the fluting in the barrel or the handle and i've seen a lot of people say don't know what that fluting is for because you can't use it to flick um yeah you can you know if if i can then just about anybody can because I'm not the the world's greatest when it comes to reverse flicking, and I can I can get in there just fine. Um, don't have that, so it's just going to be a flipper only. But nice drop, not nice drop shut <clears throat> action flipper uh, feels great. It feels phenomenal, actually. But let's take a look at those pocket clips. Extremely similar in design. I prefer this pocket clip over to the Beg knives pocket clip, you know, a $72 mini glimpse. If you guys yeah. don't know, we don't have it anymore. No, we, we gave were, it away. Yeah, it was it was given away. I think, um, I can't remember who won that one. I want to say it was Doom, possibly, but you don't have the ceramic ball like the bag knives would have yeah. on this pocket clip. Like on this one, and that does that's very that's a very nice feature. Uh, it yeah. doesn't rip up blue jeans at all. It you know it goes in and out just you know so, so nice. Keeps it keeps it secure, but it's not it's not metal just shredding your 
material. That's right. That's right. So uh, we're we're gonna stay out of the politics as much as we possibly can. We do we do understand that there's gonna be some, but we're uh, we don't know all the details. Uh, I did message Todd before we did the video, but I haven't gotten response back yet. He, he hasn't seen it yet. I, I'm not saying he's ignoring me. I'm saying like you know we we haven't spoken yet, but uh, I did kind of want to get the 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 word uh, directly from him, but at the same time I don't want to pry. You know this is just none of my business. But regardless, the carbon fiber feels great. Feels the same. You yeah, got you got more of the carbon fiber on this one. Like it comes all the way up the G10, and this one's it, like it stops right there. Mm -hmm. But the carbon fiber looks very very close to the same, and they feel the same. This little area right here is what I was referring to whenever I said like this knife bears a closer resemblance to the bag knives. Mm -hmm. D2, D2 uh, mini glimpse because it has this little cutout too. And it doesn't have any carbon fiber at all. It's all G10, but it has this little cutout where this one does not. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if, if maybe the bodega I that I'm, I'm remembering having, you know, having those lines. But uh, regardless, it's, um, this. The, so we, we know, but we'll go ahead and show you the hardware on this knife, on the Icon. It's going to be T6 on the body screws. And T8 on the pivot. That's right. And then the hardware on the steel craft. It's T8 body screws. Yes, T8 body screws. Which, and the. Uh, maybe this one. That's it. The T10, T10 pivot screw. On the pivot, yeah. So, more robust um, hardware, which I would expect on a $399 knife. This one's 39 by the way. And I'm not saying it's a better buy. I'm just, you know, like, the thing is, it's like there's not much comparison there anymore because this is a discontinued model. Right. Okay? Uh, as far as I know, Steelcraft doesn't make this knife anymore. Uh, when I caught this knife kind of early, and it was already running out. Uh, yeah. So, like, it was a limited release as far as I know. Uh, it is an S35VN, and this is in D2. And there's a difference in the pivot, or the ball bearings, right? Yes. This is IKBS, so you just have these free-floating ball bearings in, in the, in the pivot. It's not caged. Okay. Uh, th this is like a KVT-style ball bearing. So, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, from, from what I can tell, anyway. That's the steel graph. It's sharp. And that's the, that's the icon, and it's sharp as well. Another difference that I noticed was the jimping on the back. They look very similar, but the one on the Steelcraft is actually functional. Like, it, it's grippy. Yeah. This one is more of just looks like your finger is just going to slide across it. It's not really functional jimping. She's not lying there. This is aesthetics <clears throat> only. Like, it... Just little square blocks, like little Legos. Does not catch it, at all. No, no, it didn't catch on anything. Uh, this th this is jimping, you know, like uh, it's very aggressive. Uh, like not too aggressive. But it, it's going to, you're going to have some grip or, or catch there. Absolutely. So. Lockup looks very similar. This one appears to be a thicker liner. Than it this. Yeah, I would imagine it is. But, Steelcraft has a thicker Thicker liner. And maybe blade stock there. Possibly. It looks like it. Check that out. Pick up these calipers. Okay. So yeah, if we check out that blade stock from the flipper tab. It's uh on this on the icon it's point one two six. And on the steel craft, it's 0.16. So, yeah, a lot of difference, man. About mm -hmm. 20, 20, 25 percent difference on the on the blade stock at the at the flipper tab. At, the crown spine too on this one versus the yeah, other this one. does have a crown spine. It's gonna make it hard to like measure that right. the actual blade stock. But I'm gonna go with the thickest point because it is uh, yeah, thickest point. We're gonna have 0.15. So like, and that's going to be like this area right here. Yeah. But because it's, it's got this swedge. Yeah. Tapered. 
And this one does too, but not as much. Yeah, kind of does too, but not quite as much. So yeah, it's point one two. And okay, so this one is a hollow ground, and it's it feels man, it's it's very satisfactory when when cutting and slicing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it, this is a very nice slicer. This is a flat ground, not a full flat. We say about that it's about like a three quarter grind or so. Mm -hmm. We'll get some of these fingerprints off of here. Um, but like I'm, I'm not saying that shit. You know, there's right. a, lot of, a lot of good flat flat ground knives. That's what just spider co is, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, most spider co's are full flats. Right, but, but, but flat yeah. ground, yeah. A flat, yeah, flat grind. Uh, so I think this has got a more robust pivot. The the icon, uh, it. It feels very sturdy, but it just looks like it's bigger, but that doesn't mean... That it actually is. That it actually is. We ought to take it apart. Um, no, no. Uh, this this steel craft isn't going anywhere. Like you, it's, At all, yeah. yeah it's it, much tighter tolerances on the steel craft than it is on the icon. Uh, and I think that's why, like, this one up here see, like, seems to do a, a much faster drop shit than this one. Like, yeah. Does it? No. Well, maybe not. It. Okay. It just kind of seemed like it fell a lot faster. This <laughs> one's smooth in a quality kind of way. The Steelcraft yeah. is like smooth in a quality kind of way. Where this is smooth in a. It's gonna. Is it gonna fall apart? Kind right. Of, I, I mean, and, and I don't want to. Don't get me wrong, man. I trust the knife. Like uh, it's uh, but, it, but it's, there is a difference. Yeah. Yeah. There's. You can feel the. The you can hear the aspect. difference. Yeah. You know, it's a, a solid, like, we're closing. It glides a, down more than. We're closing an oak door. That's a screen door. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just slammed a screen door. Yeah. That's, <laughs> with no glass in it. It's just all screen. Uh, but but seriously, you know. It's I mean, not a bad knife for 40 No, bucks. man. I mean, like, it's a phenomenal knife for 40 bucks. The most exciting thing about this knife to me is. If Harbor Freight isn't doing anything wrong, and we have to assume that they're not until uh, somebody sure comes are. out and says, until I hear it come out of a beg's mouth that, hey, they stole that design from us, uh, then I'm going to assume that Harbor Freight hasn't broken any laws because they're, they're aware that there's a knife that yeah. looks like this, and they've claimed they've purchased all the it. All right, yeah. so this, again, man, try, just try to keep all the politics out of it and, and just judge the knife for what it is until we find out that somebody stole something from somebody and somebody did, uh, did somebody wrong. But uh, the most exciting aspect of this knife for me is this knife is staying sold out almost exclusively to Harbor Freight employees. Employees, uh, they're, they're, they're buying this knife and they're like, I can't, you know, like, uh, I talked to, the, whenever I picked this up today, I heard a lady say, I bought one of those, it's an expensive knife. 40 bucks. It's mm -hmm. an expensive knife. This wasn't Miss Tina. Right. She, it was one of her coworkers. She's like, but that's a, that's a really good knife, you know? And like, so. So it's opening their eyes, people's eyes to, to better quality per se knife options out there. Absolutely. So like when I showed her this knife, she goes, I can't tell the difference. And I was like, that's okay. It's okay. And you know, like, you know, like you can't tell the difference right now, but eventually you may, you know, if you ever get to the point where, you're you're spending a few hundred bucks on a knife versus uh uh you know like you know forty dollars on yeah. a knife you might be able to tell a difference but there's not a lot of difference here mm -hmm. now I definitely wouldn't say there's two three hundred ninety percent difference a three yeah you can buy ten of these knives for that one yeah. uh but but I mean like intellectual property also has a a, a, mm -hmm. a you know the research and development that went into it the fact that it's made by Riot we know it was done well. Um, the warranty, you know, of course it's got a lifetime warranty too, but like, you know, <clears throat> this is the original design, you know, it, it deserves to be more expensive and, and a premium. And I've, we've had a few steel craft designs and they've all been wonderful. And, and more goes into it. Like, I know not everybody likes the plated, but I love it. There, there's, there's more, more that goes into this than just making a mostly flat scale and a solid blade. Yeah, like there, there's more craftsmanship that has to be accounted for in this one. Speaking of speaking of which, let's let's go over that. Did we go over that? No, not yet. Okay, so like this one is a little bit thinner. Is that right? Yes. So yes, yeah, it's point five two, so a little over a half an inch, but it's point five two uh, in girth in the handle, and over here 
you got a more bubbly type of shape and it's 0.55 so the smaller knife is just a little bit thicker in the hand and like Courtney was saying like uh, in the last time we recorded this video uh, she feels like this this knife is like more of an extension yeah, I, I don't feel like it goes either way. It's not leaning forward. It's not the the weight's not coming back in my hand. Whereas this one, like it feels like the weight is coming back more in my hand. Like I can feel that it's there more. Where this one just it's there. It's not. There's no pressure either direction. It, it's right. much more balanced in my hand than this one. Even though there's not much of a difference in weight. Right. Right. It's a half an ounce. Yeah, there's a half an ounce difference in weight, and there's a half an inch difference in, in, mm -hmm. in length. But like, in in my, you know, like I understand what Courtney's saying. Uh, in in my experience, like these are both pretty small knives, so like I'm I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm not getting uh, the same effect she is, you know. Like, but you guys know what I carry, you know. Like, so uh, anyway, I'm a, I'm I'm a fan of this knife until I find out there was some dirty deeds, yeah. you know. Uh, if I find out there's no dirty deeds, big up to Harbor Freight. You can just go pick one of these things up from any if you can town find it in stock. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and they're selling. They're selling really good. Um, like I said, stay, staying sold out. But like you can just pull up to any town that's got a population of 82. Go up to the Harbor Freight. If they got one in stock, you can pick you up a good knife. You know, this is a great TSA type of thing. You know, like if you're flying out to. God yeah. knows where, and they've got a Harbor Freight, and you didn't want to carry your knife because you don't want to check it, and you don't want to yeah. explain all that stuff uh, to the to, in, in the airport. But still have a good knife, but you could depend on while you're wherever you're at. Yeah, and then you can give it away to somebody before you leave, or you can mail it back to yourself and save yourself the hassle before you cut out at the airport. Uh, but like you know, it's 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 aside from that, I'm gonna carry it for a little bit. You know, like I'm see I'm, how it holds up. Yeah, it, it feels good. I like it. it. To me, it feels better in hand than this one because it's bigger. Right. You know, like in it, so it offers it offers me a full four finger grip. Full fring, four finger grip whenever I choke up on it, and I've actually got enough That's room crazy. to to four to and the difference in the size of our hands because I can get like a four finger grip without the chill. In well, this I, one. I make I make hand too. <laughs> I mean, technically. Technically, I can. It just doesn't feel doesn't natural. Right. Yeah. Like it, to me, like it just doesn't feel natural. But yeah, man. Um, Overall, in, unless they've done something, it, it, as of right now, it would appear to be a good knife to pick up for forty bucks. Yeah, I, I would say, unless there's some scandals, and if there is, by God, you know, like come we, forward we'll let you and let know us know. I mean, we hear something. I'm not going to try to dig up the drama myself, but I'm not going to ignore it if it comes around because if there is a scandalous type thing going on and somebody's, uh, you know, like if, if the bags have been made victims, then fuck that knife. I don't give a damn how good it is. Right. You know, like, but if it's, if, if, if it's not coming to If the patent's been sold to that, them and they have the legal right to make it, then. Then, hey man, we got all kinds of other shit. <laughs> hey, like you ever heard of Bosteed? You ought to grab up a patent and make some of these things, man. It's RSK Knife Works uh, Mayhem. Uh, <laughs> just a second. Oh, it's a wee kite fin. You got to check out wee knives too, man. They make some pretty good stuff. This is a this is a very pleasurable knife. This is a frame lock. I'm just talking Harbor Freight now. But uh, like, um, I like frame locks. And I, I like, we, like, we, we, we like them big. Um, where's, where's everything at? We've moved everything right but, over there. That's right. We did. <laughs> but yeah, man, there's, you just get with me, man. Oh, sorry. You get with me. You get with your boy, Billy, and we'll find you all kinds of stuff to buy patents on. Um, <laughs> there's all kinds of good stuff out there. I will help you out. I, like, I have no problem with it at all, as long as you're on the up and up. All right, guys. Um, hopefully, we made that long, uh, shorter than 20 minutes. If we didn't, fuck it, man. You're getting all of it. I mean, you're only going to watch a third of it anyway. That's, <laughs> that's eight minutes, man. It's eight minutes. So we we'll uh, we'll take that times a hundred, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.